Hello all guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome to the newest episode of the Noobs and Knockouts podcast brought to you on YouTube, on Spotify, on Google, and Apple Podcasts. I'm Austin. I'm a knockout. I've watched a lot of wrestling. I'm David. I'm a noob and haven't watched nearly as much wrestling. And and I must say, Austin, uh, uh-huh. that, that, that much like um, certain classic um, stop-motion animated uh, 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 classic uh, holiday specials um with uh with with copyrights written out in roman numerals what we've done today is a simple but foolhardy idea that will almost certainly blow up in our faces but you know we're gonna make it work welcome to the worst episode of this podcast in history as it's gonna be incredible today we'll be watching no wrestling we won't even be watching a wrestling adjacent thing Mm-mm. Uh, this year I've decided for Christmas, we are going to do a reenactment of my favorite Rankin Bass movie, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Inside. in wrestling voices. In, um, yes. And, and I have to say, really, really do dig this idea. However, what you guys missed is that when we decided on this at the end of the last episode, Austin and I got off call. And I proceeded to think about this for about five minutes. And I realized, oh shit, there are songs. There are musical numbers in this. I don't know. I, I, still don't, I just still don't know what you think the plan is for this. I Well, I was thinking we, pre, we like pre-record them and then like insert them in. I, I, I honestly would rather just do it live with no music. Fuck it. Oh god, that'll be interesting. <laughs> for oh, shits and giggles. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But let's not what we're here for yet. That's back half. Yes. Yeah. No. This. This. That's not even. We're not even at the fun part yet. Yeah. So, what the front half of this podcast is going to be devoted to? We are not going to do a history of Rankin Bass movies or Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Probably smart. Yeah. No. I mean, we all recall the most famous reindeer of all. We don't need to go deeper into it. Yeah. So, obviously. It's Blitzen. What? <laughs> what? Who? Uh, yeah, so if you've seen the Rankin Bass movie, it's a fun time. I love it. And what we're going to do is we have picked out the roles for each of us. And we are. And what we're going to do in this front half is we're going to draft wrestlers to play these parts. We have a draft board. We have... Uh, we have uh, we have uh, the roles picked out, and uh, David, are you ready for this, or are you just screwing around uh, with the oh, fucking oh, brand? Oh, oh, I, I, I had a thought. I had a thought. I need to check something real quick. Uh, okay. Can okay. No, no, no. All right, all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I just had a thought. Okay. okay cool. We're good. We Gucci. So, if you're watching the video version of this, we are put thrown up on the screen now. Both the Google Doc form that has all of our parts and the draft pool of of voices that we have both selected to be able to play these parts. Yes. Uh, We'll obviously talk uh, it out as we go for the sake of uh, the audio people. Yes. Um, So So it's draft day on the Noobs and Knockouts podcast. It's draft day on the Noobs and Knockouts and uh, yeah, as as any any self respecting uh, um, uh, enthusiast for GM mode knows, you know we always love the draft day. Uh, yeah, now we all, now all we need our AI voices of Michael Cole in the background to make bad puns about the names. I almost the tried. To, I almost put Michael Cole on this list of the draft pool. I, I wasn't sure I, if I could. I don't know. I wasn't sure if I could get his diction right. Like like he's. He's a little he's too so subtle, gen- He's so generically yeah. a announcer guy. I wasn't sure I could do something interesting with that. But I thought yeah, about I it. Don't, I don't know what there is to, to really um, to really work with there. But, you know, either either way, I think we have a, I think we have a pretty respectable list. Yeah, we, I, we're not going to go over the draft board. We're not going to list all of them off. There's like 40-ish names in here. Yeah. We, you know, we'll we, get we to them as we over, get We slightly to. overstacked it. I wanted to. We have 30, 
three rolls to divvy up yep. between the two of us. Uh, I slightly overstacked it just to make sure we had a nice plethora of options, you know? Yep, um, yep, okay. So I feel like because you're the noob and the one who did a lot of the work in actually planning this part of the episode out, you will get, to, I think you get to take first pick on this one. Oh, I'm honored. I'm, I'm, so, I, I'm delighted. All right. Let's begin I, the process. I just, Austin, I just now had a moment of, of inspiration. Because I thought, you know, I thought for the the leading man, the the titular character, if you will, who who best, I've been thinking all day, who could truly um, encapsulate this hero's journey beautifully? You know, if, if Hangman Adam Page weren't so subtle a voice, he would have been on this list in my first pick. The, but, the anxious millennial cowboy is Rudolph would be a great The journey. anxious millennial cowboy is Rudolph, but but unfortunately I think he I can't quite get his voice. Um, so I thought, you know, we could go old school with Hulk Hogan. Uh, you know, we could, we could pull out Owen Hart and make a ton of nose jokes. Um, but I, I just had a thought in terms of the greatest success story of them all, the up and comer whom should not, who, 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 who struggled to find that love from, from his people at first until becoming the most prolific name in the entire game. Who else to empower, uh, or to, 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 to powerfully, uh, play this part than other than. The love of our lives, uh, Rocky Maivia. That's right. Oh Dwayne my! The Rock Johnson. As oh Rudolph. my! Oh my! Fow powerful first. The pick, number one you. pick in the draft is the, the Rock. Is the Rock? <laughs> Rocky the Red Nose Johnson. <laughs> hey, you wanna? He's going to be asking Clarice if he wants to see some of the, the people's strudel. <laughs> no! No! Oh, God. All right. How's your lips? Anyway. How's your uh, lips? <laughs> first pick, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. All right. All right. The Red Nose Reindeer. All right, my friend. You said you had some good ideas. Let's see I did. what your this first was, pick is in the awesome camp. My first pick has got to go to Sam Snowman the announcer, the MC of the show. And I was so scared that you were going to take my pick for this off the board. But Sam Snowman is the guy is, is arguably the star of the show. He has the most lines at least. Oh, and I yeah. thought who better than to try to take the spotlight away from Rudolph, like Sam Snowman, quite like the immortal one. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> oh, I was this close to picking Hogan for uh for this, but not not quite yet. Um, all right, so that's so, yeah. Get, get me get get me on there. Sam oh, Snowman uh, as the Hulkster. Hulk Hogan. I love Hulk. silver and gold, dude. Hulk Hogan, of course. He's here. He's he's he he's he's generously. Um, agreed to put over Rudolph in his narration. Um, but only if I get more lines, brother. <laughs> Do you recall, dude? The most <laughs> wonderful... the uh, rain, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Reindeer. Reindeer of all except for me, brother. The most famous reindeer, reindeer except for me. Yeah. Uh, be, that's, that's an incredible pick. All right. That ain't bad. That ain't too bad. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll go, I'll go down. I'll go down my, my list in, in order so far. Yukon Cornelius. This one was actually a bit of an easy pick. Um, magnanimous, a bit unhinged, um, and, uh, more than willing to make friends with a group of weirdos. There is but one pick to embody the man, the myth, the legend, Yukon Cornelius, and that is the man, the Mick, the, the, the man, the Mick, the legend. That's right. Mick. Fucking fuck you, Oh, Cornelius. man. Let's go. Let's go. God damn. I will yeah. say that was your t – I had a plan for Mick Foley on my board, but, you know, we – I'll go ahead and say it because it doesn't matter. Yeah. I, I was – I did think of Mick Foley for Charlie in the box. Oh, that's not bad. He, he definitely has a similar voice. 
But I, th I just and thought... Island of Misfit Toys. I think. Fits yeah, oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, but I just thought I, I, w I was more in the mind of like GM era Nick Foley. You know, like he, he's got that crazy side to him, but he's he's also got like that, you know, that sweet, that sweet, you know, leadership role. Yeah. To him. So it's it, it all taking his career in totality. It seemed to fit. So I, I, I do apologize for stealing your pick there, but yeah, all's UConn, fair in love and draft. UConn. Day. Cornelius was a hardcore legend for pulling the teeth out of all of the of the abominable snow. Fucking <laughs> true. That's for true. All right. Absolutely. All right, let's finish out the leads here. Hermie. Mm. The dentist. Everyone's the lovable dentist. elf. The H-Man. And who else could play oh Hermie but oh the God. game? Triple H. Oh, no. oh damn it! Oh man, that's really funny. I was planning on putting Triple H in like a really minor role. Like I had him listed. Absolutely for not. Ad, right? He is getting his star role in my production. <laughs> I want to be a, a dentist, uh, the cerebral dentist, the cerebral dentist. Triple H. Oh my god oh my god that's in that is actually incredible Ooh, good pick good pick um all right oh i gotta refer to my notes here a little bit okay hey whoa um, whoa whoa oh. i know i know that's I, so, so why i'm being quick about it all right mm -hmm. uh i gotta all right all right i'm a i'm a i'm a go down the list a little bit i'm gonna skip over um uh if we're talking about Hermie. We must talk about his his beloved employer, the the head elf, and of course, who better to brazenly declare that somebody is fired than, of course, <laughs> Mister. <laughs> Top tier. Kid. In my notes, Top. I I thought about Vince as King Moonracer, but I didn't think he would stay on the board long enough for me to get that. That's no, I I knew the I king had to of the him island of early. misfit toys, Vince McMahon. I mean, you would think yeah. Vince for Santa, but but literally when like Vince there, there is being no fat, that, no way. Oh oh, true. No way, no way, dude. If Linder Ellerby <laughs> trying to get Vince to fat, <laughs> would not happen. Can you imagine? I mean, he. He, he would just start cheating on her twice as hard. Come on, Jesus. Yeah, all right. Uh, not, never going to happen. Okay, all right. so I, cool, that means baby. I am going to get all of my top three picks here that I had in mind. All right, all right, let's see. So for Bumble, we thought about, Bumble. you know, how do we adapt the character that only speaks in growls? And <laughs> the thought process ended up being like, what if we did catchphrases and stuff, right? Yes. And who better? to be a catchphrase machine oh, than no. Old Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stone Cold as the Bumble? That's a, that's going in all caps. That's an insane one. Oh, my. <laughs> that's oh, fucked up. Hell that's really fucked yeah. up. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I Half the reason I put Broken Matt Hardy on there was because I thought, like, just screaming delete over and over would be a good fit for the Bumble. But this is so much better. Oh, my God. What? The Bumble, yeah. You, what? The Bumble starts climbing the mountain. You just hear, what? Oh, no. It's the Bumble. What? What? Oh, my God. Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's incredible. All right. The man, the myth, the legend, Stone Cold Steve Austin, is off the board and onto the roll of the Bumble. In fucking credible. Um, all right. All right. All right. Let's, let's, let's break it down here. So, um, for, for the role of Santa Claus, I... I confess myself a bit, a bit torn. Um, I, there are, there are a few decent options here in terms of people who have the, people who have the stature, people who have um, the, the, the figure, the people who have the presence of a Santa Claus. And I thought and thought and thought about it. And inspiration struck me at the very last second 
before before we started i was i had some kind of basic picks in mind you know i wasn't sure you know <laughs> but i feel like if we're talking about again somebody who with the ability to ultimately come to have a love for the 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 freaks of the world and to to promote them to their highest to see their potential and make the most of it even while nobody else sees a damn thing in them who else can embody such a man oh no <laughs> oh but no paul Heyman! oh no you'll be going up against rudolph the red-nosed reindeer the elves are asking Santa about their pay next paycheck, and he's like, "I'll, I'll get you on the oh, next time." Oh, oh, oh! oh I'll there, get you there's on the also next time. there, there's also plenty to be said. There is also plenty to be said for the dubiousness of the the labor, um, uh, and, and the labor compensation that Santa's working for. Us. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, um, big picks, big picks coming down the pike. Yeah, I have to say. All right, that means. We're four. We're four. This is fourth round stuff. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this, but this is this feels like returning to our roots of this of this joke is the very oh. first time I did this. The whole bit as I was making a, a joke about this is man's the line Donner's line. This is man's this is work. Man's work. And ah, I did so it so in the Macho Man voice. So oh, I got to yeah. draft Don Macho Man for Donner. The Macho Man as Donner. Oh my God. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Well, fuck. That's good. You know, I can't. <clears throat> I, I don't. Oh, I couldn't justify Miss Elizabeth on the list because I thought about that. I I, and I, could, I thought I, about it, but I can't do her voice. Like, I, like, like it's just it's just it would just come out as like generic woman. Yeah, and we can't. Like, we got to do more justice than that. Yeah. So I, I can't. I, I can't this, justify. I had the same voice. thought about putting Miss Elizabeth on the board. Is I was like, I can't yeah, really right. meaningfully do her voice. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So I I have to. Say, I have to say, if we're um, if if we're if we're doing then, um, Macho Man Randy Savage as as Donner, oh, do I do do I do Sherry as Mrs. Donner? <clears throat> oh, man, I think I feel like I had a different thought, but if we're gonna put Macho Man there, we might as well pair him up with one of his one of his on screen ladies so fuck it sensational sherry martell yeah is let's Mrs. go uh yeah absolutely sensational queen, sherry queen martell. sherry as there we go queen Mrs. sherry Donner. all right absolutely so now you know i i do have more picks that i had already kind of planned out here yes I did, you know, I think I, I think I got to protect an inspirational idea I had here. Please, from Mrs. Please. Claus. Is I realized, is Mrs. Claus's whole oh. character in this fucking thing is about getting Santa Claus to look a certain way because that is what okay. appeals the most, is most appealing. And okay. who better to body shame somebody then Johnny Ace, John Lauren Knight. <laughs> That's so fucked up. What? <laughs> Jan, Jan Laryngitis as yep. Mrs. Claus. John Laryngitis as, as, uh, as Mrs. Claus. That's right. That's That's so fucked up. That is so fucked up. Oh, my God. I I don't know what to say to that except what the fuck. Okay, well that's a that's a crazy fucking pick. Okay, um, damn it. Ah, uh, damn. 
I, you know where I was going to put the spotted, uh, Triple H was for the spotted elephant. <laughs> um, I, oh, How wait a minute. Uh, oh, wait. Like to there be is a spotted obvious... elephant. Uh... Wait a minute. I just realized there is an <laughs> obvious pick here. The spotted elephant only, only can go to the man who makes polka dots look sexy as hell. Dusty fucking Rhodes is the spotted elephant. There we go. Hell yes. <clears throat> How would you like to be a spotted elephant, daddy? <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's do that. Incredible. Okay. All right. All right. Back to you. Back to you, Austin. Right. I, had to, I, had to, I had to laugh that one up while I was thinking of it. Oh, baby. I got it. All right. I think it's time for me to voice a real female character. I This might be the only oh. time I try in the entirety of this okay. situation so i gotta do something that's kind of right. easy kind of cheap to play clarice i gotta go with lana for clarice lana the hot oh i was thinking i think i might have been thinking of lana for mrs donner but like it, with macho man there we had to do yeah beautiful the hot hot flexible noted hot, hot flexible, flexible hot flexible reindeer, reindeer wife Hot flexible reindeer Clarice. Incredible. Let's do it. Oh my god. That's so good. Okay. All right. All right. So going back to parent parental figures for a second. Um looking at the minor but important role of Clarice's father, you know, the <laughs> the, the romance between Clarice and Rudolph would look so different were it not for were it not for uh, Clarice's father stepping in to say, now I don't like you hanging around with those undesirables, but unfortunately Hulk Hogan's already off the board. So hey. the next best thing we have for protective parents, who who better to, to disapprove of who their child hangs around with than the Tasmaniac? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I can't have you hanging around with that, that red-nosed freak, brother. That it's, red-nosed he, freak. It's close enough to my color orange. I can't approve of it. The Tasmaniac as Clarice's oh my. father is my next pick on the board. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. My next pick. If you remember at the beginning of this, uh, when Rudolph first goes to play with the reindeer games, he gets a few lines oh, yeah. with, a, with a nice little guy named Fireball. Yeah, I do remember that, actually. And who else can play Fireball but Kane? Oh my God! The man who controls fire, and he's the fire ball. Also, Nothing else makes sense. Also, good old Mayor Kane, when presented with a friend who is different from the norm, immediately, oh, no. immediately ostracizes him. That's incredible. That is so good. I am obsessed. Okay, outstanding. So, Coach Comet is my is is next up for me and you know we have we have so many tremendous authority figures and mentor figures on this board i think about what we've got going for coach comet and i think about a man who is who is in the game himself who is part of the uh, part part of the, the the organization, the federation, if you will, but is still so driven for mentoring younger talent. Who else could it be? But Mister AEW himself, John or John Moxley, as Cody Comet. He's got a fucking red nose. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see a red nose, but do I see talent there? <laughs> yes, John Moxley, All right. the 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 North Pole Combat Club. Absolutely. All right, for Dolly, we're gonna go back up to the support. Dolly, Dolly. I feel like I thought about Wait, it. I'm Dolly. I don't. Wait, I didn't. Austin, I, I'm Dolly. Hmm. Oh, you're my bad. I'm I have Char- okay. I have Charlie in the box. You're okay. Charlie. All right, my bad. I misread the board. You're good. Uh, you're good. You're good. So for Charlie in the box, this is tough because it feels like feels like you got to have a distinct voice for Charlie I in agree. the box. I he, agree. he doesn't. He is. He is. He is. Um, 
he's kind of on the island of misfit toys. The island of, of broken toys, you might say. Oh, oh, oh no. Give oh, me no. broken Matt Hardy for broken Charlie in the, Ma- in, the, in the box. Broken Matt makes an appearance as Charlie in the box. Incredible. Nothing better. Nothing better. Ah, yes! I am Charlie <laughs> in the box. <laughs> and here on the island of Misfit Toys, we are all deleted. We have all been deleted by Santa, deleted. Who, by the by the great uh, the great. Oh God, I gotta come up with some fake way to over complicated way to say Santa Claus. <laughs> to say Santa Claus, because he would never just say Santa Claus. He say something weird. No, he would. He get he get real fucking weird with it. That's a that's a tremendous pick. I support this wholeheartedly. Okay, well. If we are talking about Miss Dolly, I think there is there is but what and but one answer. And this may be a bit surface level, but we do want to get the 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 uh, some representation for the ladies. You know, we we talk all this good shit about women's wrestling, but you know what are we doing? Um, so I think we need to get another another full blown woman in here, and the. The, the one who is supposedly a misfit, although we have no idea why, uh, her head topped with fiery red hair. The man oh, Becky Oh, shit! The of Dolly. I was, That's I was gonna Dolly. accidentally... I thought that Dolly was mine. I was gonna take Tony Storm for, the, for that part. That, I do like, that's not bad. That's I do not like bad. Becky in this role. Absolutely. Right. I, 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 again, a bit surface level. I saw the red hair, but I, I and I knew I had to. But okay, you know, we're sometimes we're kind of getting we're on the we're on the a lot of the unnamed parts at this point in the show. Yeah, shit's this, about to, shit's gonna get real silly. From at this on. point, it's honestly just like, what voices do we want to do? <laughs> as oh, part oh, of the game. But I still have meaningful lines on the board with King Moonracer, and. Oh. I thought I looked at our list and I thought who would most be the kind of person who like is in charge of a bunch of weirdo weirdo misfits. And it's pretty easy okay. to me. Oh. It's Paul Bearer as King Moonraiser. Oh. oh my god, you're right. That is I, I knew you had to, I put Paul Bearer in there just for you and I think you've made excellent <sighs> use of him. Paul Bearer presiding over the island of Mexico. Also, I just remembered that's- just a thought that I had that I, I obviously ended up going in a different direction with it. But early in my thought process, I thought about having Clarice be un- the Undertaker. <laughs> and I want to just put that idea out there, what that might have sounded like. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. That's so There's fucked up. There's always right. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, can you uh? Can you imagine? You know, uh, well, and, th- and then we got Kane as the then we then we then we get Kane in there as the, uh, the brothers the of destruction forward. connection here. Oh, pretend the rainbow has an end. Yeah, fantastic, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little silly with it. If it, am I is 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 you know if if you grant permission, we're at that point not, in the game here. There's not very many meaningful lines left on the, the board. The game. Uh, I'm gonna get a little silly with it. Uh, jumping down to 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 one of my minor singing roles, tall elf. I mean, I mean, there's an obvious, there's an obvious, and who who taller than than Andre the very the very tall man? That's what they called. Uh, her, her, her. <laughs> we don't like to brag. To brag. So so. Andre we are giant. Santa's elves. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Andre the Giant filling the role he was always meant to as Tall Elf. Let's fucking go. Yep. All right. Uh, I I honestly am somewhat surprised this is still an option for me. I guess I kind of understand. But the cowboy. I got in the in the island of Mr. Cowboy, Toys, I got the cowboy that rides an ostrich. Oh, no. And who better for this role than good old JR? Good old, Jim Ross. Jim Rosh. Oh, oh, you sniped him for me. I was about to to shove him and shove him and Lawler into the Fawns chorus. Okay, all right. Not mm. bad. Not bad. J- yeah. Good old JR. How would you like to be a cowboy that rides an ostrich? That's that's what that's that's what I'm asking, King. Um that's that's an incredible pick. All right. 
Okay, who? We're getting down. We're getting down. Oh, I, I did have another one. Clown toy. <laughs> what is even that? What scene is the clown toy? That's in? he. He's the he's the little Russian nesting doll during Island of Misfit Toys that has the mouse at the very oh. side. Um, okay. Yes, the clown toy. I mean. The, the the one wrestler on this list who gets legitimately who gets regularly called Jigolo a, a juggalo by my friends who whoop, know whoop. What wrestling is very nice very evil clown very toy evil. very nice very very uh, very misfit very very misfit very evil yes very, misfit, very Donovan evil. Danhausen hometown boy Donovan Danhausen making a little cameo as the clown toy okay. Now, this one's getting a little silly, but I just want an excuse to do this voice, I think. Okay, okay. You know. I want to be the water gun. The water the, gun. The, the, the water pistol that shoots jelly. 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 Give me... Oh, gosh, now I'm kind of stuck between a couple of things. Cause okay, I, cause, okay. You know. It's like I want I want to I'm not sure how much I meaningfully have lines with any other person I have role I have left, mm-hmm. you know. I I want to do Jesse Ventura as the water pistol that shoots jelly. He was in Predator, he was a marine. Why should he shoot he shot he shot pistols? Why shouldn't I shoot jelly brain? I'll shoot jelly into your fat face, gorilla. <laughs> Bet oh, you like that. You oh, know. come on now. Oh, I put him in the wrong thing. Jesse Ventura as the water gun. That's an incredible pick. That's a that is a that is a high tier pick. All right, Jesse the body Ventura is off the board and onto a onto a life of shooting jelly. <laughs> Did it with with, with, okay. with Dink Mar with Dick Marcinko in the in when I was in the Navy SEALs I shot a water pistol that shot jelly in the jungles of Vietnam. <laughs> He's got those stories, man. He's we're Jesse. That's that's weirdly specific, Jesse. But but uh, you know if, if that's 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 what you say is going on. That's what's going on. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay um um okay oh this is this is getting down to the wire i wanna i wanna be able to get to to give some of these voices the proper the proper moment to shine you know the not to not to relegate um anyone um but if we're if we're just gonna squeeze in some of my uh favorite silly voice under carters to maybe some of the more minor lines I think first first on the board is I gotta pick up Daddy Magic as fawn number two. Oh my Daddy Magic. Uh uh <laughs> Santa's sleigh team, the epitome of Christmas entertainers. Ah I like yes. I like uh I like a black nose. I, I, I like a I, I like a black nose. I like a black nose. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I like a black nose. <laughs> You know oh what god, that's good. All right, Daddy Magic's nipples hard. Couldn't be fly <laughs> just being a sleigh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's incredible. Okay. Oh yeah, baby. All right. I knew. I knew, including you. You know, including WWE champion Matt Menard. Some call him. That's not me. But to some, some, to <laughs> some people. To some people. <laughs> All right, all right. Make your next pick. <laughs> all right, this again. We're we're in silly voice territory. Just trying to find. We are in silly voice territory. So I got Elf Two, aka the Fat Elf. Aka the Fat, the Fat Elf. And wouldn't it be hilarious if I play was if someone who was really very much not fat played that character? Oh no! Give me the oh, Ultimate no. Warrior, <laughs> the oh, Fat Elf. Fuck. <laughs> hit this hit this workshop here in the North Pole. We are Santa's elves. <laughs> and it has come upon us 
to create the experience of the magic for the children of the world, Hulk Hogan. One night a year. Outstanding. The ultimate warrior is the fat elf. This makes perfect sense. Yep. Um, That's what I thought. That's all right. <laughs> squeezing in, squeezing in my other, my other favorite silly voiced under Carter um, for the fawn chorus. We're going Santino Marella as the, uh, the, the, the small but mighty role of fawn number four. Amazing. Out, outstanding. Okay. I'd say it's not, I got a couple people in the fawn chorus. I think I got to start bringing that in. You do, you do. You got and one and three. One, now who, and I think who would bully someone for their appearance of who is left? And it becomes obvious to me who fawn number one should be. But the big mm -hmm. bad booty daddy, Scott Steiner. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, that one hits kind of close. Oh, baby. Um. Rudolph with that ugly red nose. <laughs> oh, our voices are going to be so shredded by the end of this. It's fine. Oh my, oh my. It's fucking fine. god. Oh man. Okay. All right. Toy, toy train. Um, uh, the, the toy one train with, with the square with, wheels. The, the 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 toy train with the square wheels. You do you do got to feel bad for him. Um, um, I think I think. I think there are a few things in this world that would frustrate someone so much as being a train with square wheels. I think I got to give this one up to Angry King. The uh, the toy train addresses his enemies because Eddie Kingston is making an appearance. <laughs> yeah, how would you like to be a square, a square wheels on your caboose? <laughs> oh, it's so good for his voice. I'm into it. All right, all right, perfect. All right, fawn number three. Fawn Stick number it, three. Sticking it a bit here. All right, who, who, who is this a voice that I think would be funny to have like do like one line for? At Just most, a single line. And I gotta think. You know oh, what they're. You know what they're out there doing when <laughs> they. Are also they're not just training for the reindeer games; they're also chasing no. ladies. No, and who better than, no. than Val Venus? Oh, oh my fucking god! Hello, you to society. ladies. Hello, Hello does. Oh, oh boy! How do okay. I even turn the red nose thing into an innuendo? I will figure it I, out. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure you will find a way somehow. Holy shit. Oh my god, okay. okay. Rudolph Who's... may have a red nose, but the big Val Boski was just going <laughs> to no. have you looking at a different part of my anatomy. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> No. Okay. Fuck. Fuck you. Um. I. All right. All right. Just because I have a gag for it. Oh, our voices are going to be so shredded, and I can't. One of one of my OG attempts at an impression on this show. One of the voices to which I latched. I latched on early. Early on. I think we're putting Vicky Guerrero on the board as the toy post. That's the one that can't float. The 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 the, the toy boat that can't stay off fluff 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 float. Um, Excuse you know, me. Uh, yeah, what if I what if you oh, were yeah. a boat? They can't stay afloat. Yep, yep. Again, simple, but but I think we'll get a good little gag out of it. Outstanding. Okay. All right, you're up. You're up. Okay, Only I, got a couple an, I got an elf. To, 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 got an elf. to get in just, here. Just a standard old elf. Who? There's just, there's not very many voices left that I, like, want to do. Yeah. I am gonna just go ahead and draft The Undertaker in here. Why the Undertaker. Uh, one, one of Santa's most, um, 
most loyal we elves, are, to be sure. No, I think that's I think that's we tremendous. Are Santa's um, elves. We don't Philly. like to brag. Christmas Eve. <laughs> Dung. Yeah. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Um, my final misfit toy, the parrot fish hybrid. It's a it's mm. a it's a bird that can't fly. It swims. I and 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 they accidentally make a dark joke at the end of the the end of the movie when he doesn't get an umbrella to float down because the elf's like, ah, oh, you're a bird, you can fly down. <laughs> that's fucked up. He's gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> that's, that's fucked up. He's gonna he's gonna fucking die, brother. Um, <laughs> stupid. Uh, um, yeah, who who who? Be- you know what? Who better to take some crazy plunges? From some crazy heights, than the bastard. Fuck. <laughs> the bastard. You would just be bastard. so angry about being a bird that would can be... fly and it can't fly; <laughs> it swims. <laughs> and then, and then the elf pushes him off the sleigh, and he goes, he goes, ah! I am so angry. <laughs> all right. Oh God! All right. All right. What is the scooter? I couldn't remember or the, find where the scooter what is. What is the? Sco- I don't even goddamn. You gave me a scooter, part. and you're and you're like, fill this part. Uh, fuck, Rudolph script. Let's see, Rudolph, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer transcript. Um, and let's search scooter, find and page scooter. Um, a scoot. It's just a. It's just a scooter. <laughs> it's a scooter for Jimmy. Oh, it's the scooter for Jimmy. Okay. It's a scooter for Jimmy. All right. Well. All right. Give me Razor Ramon. That's <laughs> not what I was expecting you to say, but think, okay. What did you think I was gonna say for that? I thought scooter for Jimmy. Oh, it's a, it's a scooter for me, Daddy. Absolutely not. I don't want to do Jimmy Hart. Uh, <laughs> fair. Fair, fair. Well, well, well. I I have been belaboring on the woodland coins because I've been thinking about like who. Just, it's it's just a single sung line in the background, but I feel like if employed right, that could be it could be a magical time. Um, and you know, <laughs> you you may not have wanted to do jimmy hart and i don't either however when i think the master of music the man the man behind it all <laughs> what are we ripping off to make this song better <laughs> yeah it's actually it's actually a guns and roses ripoff um uh jimmy hart will back up clarice during her powerful ballad of it's always tomorrow and i'm sure he won't hog the spotlight in the slightest Oh man, look, look at this list. Is this, isn't this, this is, just the this most. This is going to be not, this is, is going to be so stupid. This is the most, is this is not the most fucked up list you have ever this seen. This is, this is a fucked fuckers episode of this podcast. It's a, it's fuck, this is a fucked fuckers for fucked up people episode. But. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Um. <laughs> This is going to be so insane. Hey, Holy shit. All right. So if you want to watch the Rankin Bass Rudolph. For some before, reason. Or <laughs> you listen to us do it, uh, you can find it on YouTube pretty easily. I found a thing. I found it. And you, I actually, I actually couldn't find it. I Googled it earlier and I couldn't find well, it. Well, I keep getting recommendations for a YouTube video that is an eight hour video of all the Rankin Bass movies with a re- inserts oh with inserts of actual CBS commercials that aired during broadcast from oh the seventies or whatever. So like it's on YouTube. You, you go hunting for Rankin Bass shit. That's um, based. But yeah, we'll be back in the back half to do a some kind of a reenacting of Rankin Bass's Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh, what hath hell wrought? And we are back, and it is time for our feature presentation. 
of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Dun, da, 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 bum. My best approximation of the uh, the Rankin Bass bumper. Uh, yeah, technically, that just... shows up at the end, but whatever. Snowstorm, big storm, newspapers. I remember that scene. That's how they opened the movie. Snowstorm, big storm. Oh shit! Damn, we don't got any commercial breaks to put in the middle of this. It's fine. No, we don't. That's weird. <clears throat> well, let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> if I live to be a hundred, I'll never be able to forget that big snowstorm a couple of years ago, dude. The weather closed in, and well, you might not believe it, brother, or maybe you will. I don't know. But the world <laughs> almost missed Christmas, dude. Oh, excuse me. Call me Sam, brother. What's the matter? <laughs> okay, Have you ever seen brother. a talking snowman before? Huh, nice around here, isn't it? I call it Christmas Town, dude. Better known as the North Pole, brother. The Christmas Tree Forest. Yep, here's where we grow them. Nice place to live around here, you know, Jack. Hmm. Christmas seals. Of course. The number one citizens up here are the Clauses. Santa and the Misses, brother. They live right over there, dude. First castle on the left. Matter of fact, the only castle on the left. <laughs> and we go inside the castle to see a, sinny, a skinny Santa. Yep. Papa, you haven't touched a morsel. <laughs> Have to take this suit in. Eat. God. Oh, <laughs> Whoever heard of a skinny Santa? Get eat, 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 get that fat ass going. <laughs> oh, now don't you, don't any of you worry your heads about Santa, dude, because Miss Claus will have him plenty fat enough for by Christmas Eve, brother. It's always the same story. I love this Christmassy time of year, especially when everything is running happy and smooth like it is this season, dude. Nothing like that year of the big snowstorm. Ooh. I don't know what we would have done without Rudolph to pull us through, brother. Maybe I would have had to take over the sleigh, dude. <laughs> anyway, uh, Rudolph. Well, could it be that some of you were not acquainted with the story of Rudolph, dude? <laughs> well, pull up an ice rock and Linden here, brother. Now, you know how Santa used those flying reindeers to pull his sleigh. Now, you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Jack. Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Dude. <laughs> uh, terrible. Yeah, ter terrible. Uh, um, terrible attempt at Roman numerals that fucks over copyright, et cetera, et cetera. We all know the drill. Hey. Um, yeah. All right. Next scene. Well, now let me tell you about Rudolph, brother. <laughs> it all started a couple of years ago before the big snow. It was springtime, and Santa's lead reindeer Donner had just become a proud papa. Oh, yeah! We'll call him Rudolph. Ooh, yeah. Rudolph is a lovely name. Rudolph! Well, hey, hey, now! He knows his name already! Oh, dig it! Oh, oh, shit. Rudolph says Rudolph. That's a fuck up in the script. Um... Oh, oh, no, no, never mind. No, he, he no. just perks up at his name. He no, okay. up his name, yeah. Then, okay, there we are. Shut. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Papa. Mama. <laughs> He's... <laughs> He's got a shiny nose. Doing terrible impressions. Shiny you I don't even see it close. <laughs> Well, we'll simply have to overlook it. Well, how can you overlook that? His beak blinks like a blinking beacon. <laughs> well, Donner, where's the new member of the family? After all, if he's going to be on my team someday, he'd better get to know me. <laughs> well, hi there. Aren't you the sturdy little fellow? <laughs> Santa? 
he was so Terrible. nasty. He was so he was so adult so sounding as a baby. Well, I don't know how I I haven't watched Young Rock. All right, we're not we we haven't drafted the Young Rock actors to this. Um, and, well, and smart too. And then Rudolph's nose nose shines. <laughs> Great bouncing iceberg. Now I'm sure it'll stop when he grows up, Santa. Well, let's hope so if he wants to make the sleigh team someday. You see, little fellow, every year I shine up my jingle bells for eight lucky reindeer. Do 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 do. God, do, singing do, in a Paul do, Heyman do. voice. Fuck me. Um, let's go. Shit. Jingle jingle. <laughs> jingle, 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 jingle. You are my sleigh bells ring. <laughs> I am old Chris Kringle. I'm the king of jingling. <laughs> jingle, jingle, reindeer. Through the frosty air they'll go. They are not just play deer. They're the fastest deer I know. Ho, ho! You must believe that on Christmas Eve, I won't pass you by. I'll dash away in my magic sleigh, flying through the sky. Jingle, jingle, jingle. You will hear my sleigh bells ring. I am old Paul Heyman. I'm the king of jingling. <laughs> I am old Paul Heyman. I'm the king of Jingling, ho ho! <laughs> well, bye. Uh, that's not. That's not the rock. Bye bye. Terrible. Oh, Santa's right. He'll never make the sleigh team. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. Well, hide Rudolph's nose. Hide it. Yeah. Come here, boy. You'll be a normal little buck, just like everybody else, right? I chip off the old antlers. Now, now, you'll get used to it. Put it there, son. Oh, gee. Then I, oh, they, they, they put dirt on his nose so he can't, they so he looks normal. Well, for the first year, the Donners did a pretty good job of Rudolph, of hiding Rudolph's uh, non-conformity. Donner taught Rudolph all the ins and outs of being a reindeer dude, how to give food, how to fight off enemies, things like that. But most important, <clears throat> what? What? <laughs> most important of all, he taught his son to beware the abominable snow monster of the North, dude. He's mean, he's nasty, and he hates everything about Christmas, Jack. Now, what? aside from the um, aside from the abominable, business goes on as usual. And soon it is right before Christmas, and everybody's getting ready for that big, big sleigh ride on the night of the twenty fourth, dude. Christmas Eve, brother. See, all the toys Santa brings are made by these elves, dude. These little dudes. Seems these little dudes have a certain knack for toy making. All except this one misfit elf, brother. Hurry! Aren't you finished painting yet? There's a pile up a mile wide behind you. What's eating you, boy? Uh, not happy in my work, I guess. Uh, what? I just don't like to make toys. Uh, oh, well, if uh, that's all. Uh, what? You don't like to make toys? No. <laughs> Hermie doesn't like to make toys. Hermie doesn't like to make toys. Hermie does not like to make toys. Hermie doesn't like to make toys. Oh, Hermie. Oh, I'm Hermie, shame to on us. you. Oh, it's a shame, Hermie. You, uh... Mind telling me what you do want to do? Well, sir, uh, someday I'd like to be a dentist. Ha! A dentist? That's as likely as you being a CCO. 
Well, uh, we need one up here, dude. Bro, I've been studying. Uh, it's fascinating. It's all about the teeth and how you clean them. You've <laughs> no idea. Molars and, and bicuspids and incisors. Now listen, you. You're an elf. And elves make toys. Now, get to work. We hear a whistle. Wee -wee. Ten minute break. Oh, oh, not for you. Finish the job, or you're fired. <sighs> Why am I such a misfit? <laughs> I am not just a nitwit. You can't fire me. I quit. Seems I don't fit in. How oh, well, dude. Such is the life of an elf. Meanwhile, Rudolph is having his growing pains too, brother. Old Donner is determined to keep Rudolph's nose a secret. All right, son. Try it on. Well, I don't want it, Daddy. I don't like it. You'll like it and you'll wear it. Oh, but Daddy, this nose on my, this dirt on my nose isn't for the people's reindeer. It's not very comfortable. There are more important things than comfort. Self-respect! Santa can't object to you now. Oh. Why am I such a misfit? I am not just a nitwit. Just because my people's nose glows. Why don't I fit in? Next scene. Next scene. <clears throat> And so time passes, dude. Christmas comes and goes on schedule, and soon it is April, where all the new little fawns come out of there with their folks to meet the other new little fawns and be inspected by Santa, dude. Well, now, don't you worry about your nose, son. Just get out there and do your stuff. Remember, you're my little buck. And some Hi. fawns don't appear. Yeah. Hi, my name's Fireball. What's yours? Well, I'm Rudolph. Come on, you can be my buddy. Whoa, whoa. Where are we going? Where are you taking the, the people's reindeer? To the reindeer games. Makes antlers grow. Besides, it's a great way to show off in front of the does. Come oh, on. Oh, I like the does, brother. Oh, yeah, da damn right. <clears throat> ah, youth. Meanwhile, the elves are busting with activity, brother. Christmas is over, but they still keep busy with lessons in elf improvement, dude. All out here for elf practice. Now, uh, let's get this over with. I have to look over the new deer. Oh, well, uh, okay, Santa. Let's try out the new elf song I wrote. And remember, it's for Santa. And a one-a. And a two-a. And a three-a. Oh, oh, oh. song here. <laughs> we are Santa's elves. We are Santa's elves. Filling Santa's shelves. With a toy for each and boy. We are elves. We work hard all day, but our work is play. Dolls we try out, see if they cry out. We are Santa's elves. We've a special job each year. We don't like to brag. Christmas Eve, we always fill that rotund Santa's bag. <laughs> Santa knows who's good. Do all the things you should. We bet you we won't forget you. We are Santa's elves. We have a special job each year. We don't like to brag. Christmas Eve, we always fill Santa's bag. Santa knows who's good. Do the things you should. And we bet you he won't forget you. We are Santa's elves. Ho, 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 Hogan. We are Santa's elves. Ho, 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 ho Hogan. Hmm. Well, that needs some work. 
I have to go. I can't imagine. I have, I have, I have better people to promote than this sad act. I can't imagine why that needed work. I have, I, I, I don't worry about it. Just get, just, just, just get back to work. All right. What does Papa know? It was beautiful. You can get up just the way he was. Papa, Papa. Well, what did they say, boss? Did they like our song we wrote? Uh, nope. That sounded terrible. The tenor section was weak, and we can try this. We can try the center section again. Center section? The fuck? Okay, whatever. Wasn't our fault, boss. Hermie didn't show up. What? Now Hermie's here fixing up little dolls. Now this won't hurt a bit. Uh... Hermie! Hey, why weren't you at elf practice, son? <laughs> just fixing these dolls' teeth. Uh... Oh, well, just, just fix it. Ah, hey, now listen. We have dolls that cry, walk, talk, blink, and we're, we're in a temperature. We don't need any chewing dolls. I just thought I found a way to fit in. Uh... He thinks he's gonna, he thinks he's, you'll never fit in. You'll never get over with the crowds. You need to come practice and learn how to job and wiggle your ears and chuckle warmly and go hee hee and ho ho and important things like that. A dentist. Good grief. Uh, no, I just can't. Uh, it's like he said, I'll never fit in. Uh. I guess I'm on my own now. The king of no. hates. <laughs> <laughs> the cerebral assassin. assassin uh, and, and now we are back to uh, now <clears throat> to reindeer. Back to reindeer games. Hey, look. Doze. Suck it. Hey, <laughs> what did you know? One of them likes ya. Oh. Yeah, Fireball? You really think so? Uh oh, here comes the coach. <clears throat> all right, all right, yearlings. All right now. That's better. My name is Com Moxley. I mean Comet. Even <laughs> though I'm your instructor, I wanna be your ugh, pal. Right? Right. My job is to make bucks out of you. Not young bucks, more like Blackpool combat bucks. So let's go. Now then, our first game is called Take Off. We all want to pull Santa's sleigh someday, don't we? So we must learn to fly. Now, who's first to try? One at a time, one at a time. You, you're, you're Dasher's little boy, aren't you? Fought him back in 2014. He wasn't bad. I kicked his ass. You go first. I mean, presumably the, 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 the fonts don't, the font doesn't do terribly well. All right. Now the whole trick is getting up enough speed and jumping into the wind. You got it? Go ahead. Uh, Fawn is jumping for his uh, for his trying for his first flight, but fails as he tumbles down. Very good first <laughs> try. <laughs> yeah, very very good first try for a member of Jericho's stable. <laughs> Next for a sports entertainer. <clears throat> for a sports, oh, I hate those guys. Yeah, he won't get to us for a while. Go get acquainted with that dough. Mm, nice day. Uh, yep. For takeoff practice, I mean. Yep. Ah, uh, I bet you'll be the best. Well, of course, the people's reindeers. I mean, uh, well, oh, I don't know. Uh, something wrong with your nose. I mean, you talk kind of funny. 
Well, the people's nose. I mean, what's so funny about the way I talk? This is perfectly normal to speak with such bravado all the time. Don't get angry. I don't mind. You are. Uh, you don't? My name's Clarice. Hi. It doesn't matter what your name is. I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> got him. <laughs> I, I mean, my name's Rudolph. People's the people's reindeer. Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, Clarice. You know, after practice, would you maybe want to go and let the people's reindeer rock your world a little bit? Rudolph, <laughs> you get back here. It's your turn. You know. Oh, gee, the people's reindeer's got to go back. Uh. You walk home with me, Clarice? Uh Uh-huh. Rudolph. I think you're cute. Oh. Well. Very hot and flexible. Hot stuff. Thinks I'm... Thinks the people's reindeer is... Oh, I'm cute. I want want to see the people's strudel. Oh, oh! She wants (laughs) to see the strudel! (laughs) Well, that's magnificent. Uh, she wants to see the strudel. She wants to see the strudel. And she says, I'm cute. And and Rudolph is flying all over the place. And Santa observes this. Mm, not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, you're okay. How, how did it go with the dough you met? She said she wants to see the people's strudel. And they, yeah. they laugh. They have a celebratory bout, of course. Uh, of course, Rudolph refuses to put Fireball over. Um, yes, and the, then it ends. Goes, go for the choke slam. Go for uh, the, and then the and the and the and the and the boom. nose pops off. The people's antler, you know. Um, and then the nose pops off. Yeah. Yes, for crying out loud! A oh, Fireball. What's the matter? Get get away! Get away from me! Now, now, what's this nonsense here, Bucks? After all, ah, holy crap! Yeah. It's redder yeah, than my forehead that. after as after five seconds of a match. Yeah, yeah. Look at a big gun. Look at a big on that fat ass. <laughs> um, hey, ain't there fire snout? Rainbow pussy. I hate. I hate that Valvinus <laughs> got that line. <laughs> Fuck you. It's, 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 it's a red schnoz. The, 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 the rose is Ned, yes. Uh, stop calling the people's reindeer names. Hey, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> hey, hey. Donner, you should be ashamed of yourself. What a pity. He had a nice takeoff, too. All right, all right now, yearlings. Back to practice. Oh, no. Not you, people's reindeer. You better go home with your folks. From now on, gang, we lo- won't let Rudolph join in any reindeer games, training, or otherwise sparring, right? Right. Hey, it's right. Hey, hey it's right. Hey. Rudolph, Rudolph, Rudolph. Well, what do you want? You, you promised to walk me home. Aren't you gonna laugh at my nose too? No, I think it's a handsome nose, much better than that silly false one you were wearing. Ha! Huh, why? It's terrible. So will never get over with the people. It's different than everybody else. But that's what makes that's what makes it so grand. Why would any doll would consider so any doll would consider herself lucky to be with you? Well, I can rock the world of any doe, but but I wasn't very <laughs> lucky today, was I? I the people's reindeer wishes. The the people's reindeer wishes. I, mm. Man, the rock really undercuts this character. <laughs> <laughs> I Full disclosure, it was purely the idea that I could do the it doesn't matter what your name is bit. That, oh that made my me god. All right. 
There's always tomorrow for dreams to come true. Believe in your dreams, come what may. There's always tomorrow with so much to do and so little time in a day. We all pretend the rainbow has an end, and you'll be there, my friend, someday. There's always tomorrow. For you know, you can pass this line to me every day. <laughs> tomorrow is not far away. All right, it's time for my solo, Daddy. We, we all, we all <laughs> pretend the rainbow has an end, Daddy, and you'll be there, my friend, someday, Daddy. There's always tomorrow for me <laughs> to come true. <laughs> tomorrow is not far away. That was beautiful, Otto. I'm going to put it on my next album for you, Daddy. Oh, yeah. Oh my God! Hey, Clarice, Papa, you get back to your cave this instant. But I, this instant, young lady. Yes, sir. Now, there's one thing I want to make plain, brother. No doe of mine will be seen with a red-nosed reindeer. That 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 red nose is a little too close to orange, and that's my color, brother. And ain't nobody stealing it. Not that damn orange, Cassidy, and not you. Meanwhile, and then Hermie is pops up where Rudolph is walking off sadly. Oh, uh, is, is uh, this your uh, snowbank? Uh, no, uh, who are you? Well, actually, I am the game. And, it uh, my matter what your gimmick is. Oh, 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 sorry. A, mm, a dentist. Good thing well, the uh, right one of those. Well, uh, I want to be one one someday. Right now, I'm just an alpha. You can call me Hermie. What's yours? Well, I'm Rudolph, the people's reindeer. Say, you've got quite a nose. What a nose you got there, and you know? I know something about that. Don't you take it from me. Don't you take it from me, sir. Uh, yeah, my nose always glows red like that for the people. Everybody laughed at me and called me names, and I don't understand it. Hmm, that sounds that sounds harsh for you. No wonder you decided to run away like this. Uh, well, I ran away too, uh, away from other elves. But I don't need anybody. I am the game. I'm <laughs> independent. Well, I'm the people's reindeer, and I'm also whatever it is you said. The people's reindeer isn't the best with words. Uh, in independent. Well, hey, what do you say we both be independent together? You, you wouldn't mind the, the people's nose. Not if you don't mind uh, be, me being a dentist, huh? No, I could, uh, we could, it uh, sounds like a pretty good arrangement. It's a, it's a, the, the people's reindeer says it's a deal. And uh, glad you didn't make fun of my nose or I'd have to drop the people's antler right onto you. Why would I make fun of your nose? Uh, I think your nose is wonderful and colorful. Uh. Thanks, sir. Uh, well, I think it's just uh, you and me, a couple of draws. I mean, a couple of misfits. And at this point, folks, we we will bl blub away to a, to a special presentation, a, a single song presented actually as some semblance of an actual song. I'm taking note of when the timestamp of when this happens. <clears throat> Why am I such a misfit? Blah, 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 blah. We, that's where we fit in. So, uh, what, what was it that made you decide to make being a dentist your gimmick, Hermie? That doesn't, doesn't always get over, you know? Simple. Uh, take a look. I learned through night and day uh, with my trusty book about dentistry. Uh, 
My father uh, gave me this when I was young. This book is what had me changed to make a perfect living by becoming a dentist. Uh, to check everyone's teeth to see if they're healthy. Uh, that's the only way to be an elf that no other elves can do outside just making toys. You see, making toys is just nothing else. It's more of a very, my very dull thing to do year after year. Uh, nobody's quite found... <clears throat> I have no idea how to read this line. Nobody are quite not... Are not... What the... F okay, this leads into the fame and fortune Good. sequence, which doesn't count anyway. So f skip, skip so it. My long skip term, it. Even, uh, blah, blah. No one has stopped my long-term patch, you know. Even when the head elf won't give me a chance. Uh... Oh, well, gee, that's uh, rather tragic. I'm sorry to hear that. That that that, that head elf in the back can be a, can be a real bastard. You got to politic with him sometimes. And you have no idea how much you feel that way by being stuck in only one job uh, if you were Santa's elf. That's how. That's the point that I decided to quit my toy making job and go out and seek my fortune uh, as a top draw. Oh. oh well, fortune is a as a top draw sounds. So it's pretty nice to the to the people's reindeer. Maybe I can even uh, uh, get fortune as a as a bit of a movie star too. Not you though, just me. Hey, You'll I try, it, but you won't get cast as Thor. Make, I can I can make a great Thor. Uh, I well, I, th know. I think there's an Australian guy out there who's probably better at it. You know, don't sound right. Well, with you and me, you and I can live our fame <laughs> and fortune. Uh, what do you say? Uh... The people's reindeer loves the sound of that. Also, why is there another song here? We Fame just did one. Literally not even on the soundtrack. Fame I don't fucking and know this song. We're blah, blah, out. blah. Hey, well, we are someday. Sure. Well, now, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. Now, these two <laughs> had an idea about what they were letting themselves in for, brother. The world looked a lot more complicated and dangerous than it seemed when they were snug and warm at home. The scene fades to a dark snowstorm. Rudolph and Hermie are trying to walk through a strong breeze. Here they hear a loud roar from the distance. And that's the bottom line, because the abominable <laughs> snowman said so. <laughs> what? What? The abominable, uh, he must see your nose. No, oh, no. That's the, that's the light. He's coming for the people's nose. Like and the, said, with the camera pants of the mountains where a giant where giant white fuzzy arms appear. Like I said, dude, the outside world is up to its ears in danger. That fumble. And scene. And scene. <clears throat> now they're walking through a snowstorm. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Sometime, somehow, Rudolph and Hermie managed to get through that first night. Oh, God. Mush! Mush! Mush, don't you understand, North Pole Tom? Mrs. Foley's baby boy says mush! What? What's this? Hey, you get frostbit that way. Who are you? Who am I? The name's Yukon Cornelius, and I'm going to beat you for a title someday. The greatest prospector in the North. This, this is my land. And it's rich with gold. Bang, bang. Gold. Gold and silver. Silver and gold. Bang, bang. Ah, silver oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, he, oh, oh, he, he, he got to lick the thing. Oh, he got, he got to lick, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm imagining he, like, I don't know, he, he throws up instead of a, instead of a, uh, uh, an axe, it's just a bag of thumbtacks, and he picks one of them up and licks it. Oh, nothing. <laughs> silver and gold, dude, my two favorite colors, brother. Well, what do you think of our friend Cornelius, dude? Seems like all he thinks about is silver and gold. Me too, dude. 
Oh, silver and gold, <laughs> silver and gold. Everyone wishes for silver and gold, especially the Hulkster. How do you measure its worth? <laughs> Just by the pleasure it gives here on earth and also the cut of the box office <laughs> silver and gold silver and gold means so much more when i see silver and gold decorations on every christmas tree and around my waist dude and what's a christmas well. tree without pretty silver and gold decorations bro <laughs> can't really call it a christmas tree right Think of all the joy that would be lost on Christmas morning if all the little Hulkamaniacs didn't see that sparkling happy tree, dude. Silver and gold, silver and gold belts mean so much more <laughs> when I see silver and gold decorations around my waist and every Christmas tree. <laughs> Better be in my contract, brother. Oh, well, now. Now I'm off to get my lots of things of supplies. Cornmeal and, and gunpowder. Baby! And, and ham hocks. And Mr. Socko and guitar <laughs> strings. And thumbtacks. Always gotta have the thumbtacks, but I'll, I'll give you a lift. Hop aboard, mateys. Now, mush, mush for Mr. Mrs. Foley's baby boy, mush, bang, bang, oh, like this, watch, but oh no, the abominable suddenly appears from the mountains and lets out a roar, if you want to see me eat these three guys, give me a hell yeah, oh god, Sooks, the bumble snow monster of the north, and his terrible pop lines strike again. Oh no, it's the people's nose and also how terribly popular I am. It keeps giving us away. And even I, I, I hate is an annoying bumble snow monster. Oh, uh, it's, God, this thing's so terribly translated. Um, We'll outwit the fiend with our superior intelligence. Bang, bang! Wow. wow! Dose your nose and run like crazy! Come on! Wahoo! Bang bang! The chase is on, but the bumble launches off to attack while the three heroes escape him by running faster. Ah! Uh, what? What? Oh no! We're trapped by the old guard, the guy who's champion before me. There's no way out. It's my nose again. The people's nose has ruined us. Now I'm gonna stomp a mud hole in your ass. Oh, the bumble has one weakness, and I know it. He does it. He does it. He doesn't get on well without his beer. You gotta do it yourself, iceberg. Nah. <laughs> The Bumble's one weakness. They cut a, they cut an iceberg into the uh, into the, the 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 tundra and push off into a, a what I'm gonna head cannon as a lake of beer. Um, so instead of instead of the the Bumble going to to sink into it, he just starts uncontrolled ah. wrapping it up. Yeah. If, if you if you thought the Bumble knows how to swim, eh eh. Ah. <laughs> The Bumble sinks and has to have his post-match beer. <laughs> A bang, bang! Yukon Cornelius strikes again. <laughs> oh, tasty, tasty thumbtack. <laughs> oh, nothing. Bang, bang! Uh, mister, where are we going? Where are you taking the people's reindeer? You're going to stay with me and we'll all be rich. With the biggest silver strike this side of the Hudson Bay, silver like my thumbtacks. I thought uh, you wanted gold. Uh... I changed my mind. They're so tasty. Mm. 
Oh, yes, sir, brother. Our friends are really on their way, but not one of them knew where they were going. And scene. And scene. We head back to the reindeer cave where they're all... Rudolph's parents are looking out for their son. Now, you can bet old Donner brother felt pretty bad about the way he had treated Rudolph, dude. And he knew the only thing to do was to go out and look for his little buck, Jack. Mrs. Donner wanted to go along naturally. But Donner said, Oh, no, this is man's work. Oh, oh, come on. And no sooner did the man of the house leave, brother, when Mrs. Donner and Clarice decided to set out on their own. And now they were really taking their chances, dude. Because you see, that little ice, pa- ice boat had run into a pack of mighty wicked fog, brother. Hello, Fogs is thick as all the blood I shed in that match with the Undertaker. You mean a pea soup? Well, you have what you like coming out of your forehead, and I'll have what I like coming out of my forehead. <laughs> Land ho! Bang bang! Yeah, no kidding. Uh... Where? Where are we? Hey, looky up there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hold who goes there. <laughs> Us, of course. Who you think? Bang, bang. Oh, well, that is okay. Okay. Who, may I ask, are you? Well, we're Rudolph, the people's reindeer. Hermie, the game dentist, or something like that. Yukon Cornelius. He likes to say bang, bang. Now, who uh, are you? And uh, my broken brilliance. I am the official sentry of the island of Mr. It doesn't Paul. matter. Oh, I should probably let people finish their lines. A jack-in-the-box for a sentry? Yes, my name is... Wait, wait, don't tell the people's reindeer. It's Hulk Hogan's favorite word. Your name is... Well, it doesn't matter, but it is Jack. No, Charlie. That's why I made Misfit Toy. My name... I am broken. My name is all wrong. No one wants to play with a broken Charlie in the box. <laughs> so I had to come here. May, 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 I, may I just say, uh, it is it's so uh, impossible for me to get down the shitty British accent that Matt Hardy does for the broken Matt persona. The way you are able to capture it is actually amazing. May I just say, continue. Where's here? Oh, gosh. All right. Let's let's see if I can. Let's let's see if I can do my my Irish accent. We we are on the island of misfit toys. Here we don't want to stay. We want to travel with Santa Claus in his magic sleigh. Oh, a pack full of very nice and very evil toys for my vlog means a sack full of very nice and very evil joys for my vlog. For millions of girls, for millions of boys, when Christmas Day is here, the most Wonderful and evil day of the year. A jack in the box waits for children to shout. Wake up. Don't you know it's time to come out when Christmas Day is here? The most wonderful day of the year. Toys galore scattered on the floor. There's no room for more, and it's all because of Santa Claus. A scooter for Jimmy Chico. A a dolly for a, a dolly for Sue, the man. I that will even say, "How do you do? 
when Christmas Day is here, the most wonderful day of the year. Eh, uh, would you like to be a spotted elephant, Daddy? Or, or choo-choo with square wheels on your caboose? Or a water pistol that shoots jelly and nom. <laughs> We're all misfits. You're all misfits. How would you like to be a bird that doesn't fly? I'm a bastard who swims. Or a cowboy who rides an ostrich, Kang. <laughs> or a boat that can't stay off the of floor. Flo excuse me! Excuse me! I'm sinking! We're all we're misfits. All if we on the island of unwanted toys, we'll miss all the fun with the girls and the boys. When Christmas Day is here, the most wonderful, wonderful, most wonderful, wonderful and evil, wonderful, wonderful day, of day of the, the year. year. It's beautiful. Hey, we're all misfits too. Mr. McMahon said we'll never get over. Maybe we can stay here for a while. Well, you'd have to get permission from King Moonracer. All of these damn people we gotta talk to. Who's he? Ah, he rules ya. Every <laughs> night he searches the entire plane of existence. When he finds a misfit toy, one that no girl or boy loves, he brings it to live here, to live on this island, till someone wants it. He's holding court in his castle right now. And they Beautiful. go to the throne room. And we go Moonraiser. to the throne room of King Moonracer. Come closer. What do you desire? Well, we're a couple of misfits from Misfit Town, and now we'd like to live here if you smell what we're cooking. Oh, no, that would not be possible. This island is for toys only. Oh, yes. Well, how do you like that? Even among misfits, you're misfits. Oh, misfits, God. big bang. Unlike playthings, a living creature cannot hide himself on an island. But perhaps, being misfits yourselves, you might help the toys here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're asking the people's reindeer to help these toys? Oh, yes! <laughs> when someday you return to Christmas Town, would you tell Santa about our homeless toys? I'm sure he could find little boys and girls who would be happy with them. A toy is never truly happy until it is loved by a child. Well, let me tell you something. The People's Ranger is not like how you said little boys and girls just then. However, <laughs> when and if and when we ever get back, We'll tell Santa, sir. Good. You are free to spend the night. Footman, show our friends to their chambers. Oh, I love to show our friends to the chambers, Daddy. I got, I, I got, we got a lot of chambers here, and I can show you every one of them. You want to show me? You want me to show you my dance while I show you to the chambers? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Daddy. Oh, that Paul Bear came more, more like him from Powerpuff Girls. That's just fine. We got the kid. We got the gist. Yeah. No, it's all settled. Uh, we'll leave tomorrow together. But the abominable will see the people's nose. And I lost my page. Oh, no. Uh, we'll see the people's nose and get us all. No, the people's reindeer has to go alone. Nonsense. It's all for, it's all for all, and I mean, one for one, I mean, for all, one, oh, bang, bang, it doesn't matter, let's get some shut-eye, oh, I'm so, I've had so much blood loss the past few days, but, uh, it's all settled, uh, hmm, 
That don't sit right with the people's reindeer. Then Rudolph sneaks off in the night. Mm hmm. Tell me what to do. I'll do Hell, I'll do brother. Just well, well brother, poor Rudolph realized he can't endanger his friend's lives anymore, Jack. And so that night, he decided to strike it out on his own, brother. A little bit of pol politic. It never hurt no one. Bye, Cornelius. I hope you find lots of tinsel and thumbtacks and blood and whatever the hell else you were talking about on and on and on. Goodbye, Hermie. Whatever the hell a game dentist cerebral assassin is, I hope someday that you're the greatest, just so long as you're not coming after the people's reindeer. That's what I'm saying. If you smell a little. Now Rudolph floats off on an iceberg in the distance. You can hear what? You can hear what? <laughs> in the distance. What? And scene. And scene. Next scene. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Time passed slowly. Rudolph existed as best he could, dude. The snow monster kept him on the run. But once in a while, he would stop and make a friend or two, dude. But it wouldn't last long, brother, and Rudolph would be on his own again. But during all that time, a strange and wonderful thing was happening, dude. Rudolph was growing up. And growing up made Rudolph realize you can't want run away from your troubles. Yeah, he pretty changed soon, to turn heel, and all of a sudden it was it was working out a lot better for him. And pretty soon he knew where he had to go. Home, dude. <laughs> Never heard Hulk Hogan say dude so solemnly in my life. You he's back, Rudolph is back in Christmas town. You I thought you were gone for good. Hey, look who's back. Old neon nose. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, ma, pa, the people's reindeer is home. I can't remember what the exact uh uh. Finally, top line the is. rock has but come back. Finally, the people's reindeer is back home. Well, uh, they're gone, Rudolph. They've been gone for months out looking for you. Clarice, she's gone too, and I'm very worried. Christmas Eve is only two days off, and without your father, I'll never be able to get my sleigh off the ground. He's a very important part of my stable. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, sir. The people's reindeer will find him. The people's reindeer will find them all. And Rudolph sets out. Well, brother, he was just about to leave when suddenly <sighs> snowstorm. It hit, dude. A storm of storms, brother, and only two days before Christmas Eve. And Rudolph oh, was no. fighting through the snow. Rudolph knew that he had to find his folks right away, brother, and he knew where to look. The cave of the abominable snow monster, brother. And if you and and Bumble three sixteen says I'm gonna eat your ass. If you smell, you like that one? I was workshop the, the people's range. He was working shop that workshop that one on the road. Now you put her down. And then they have their big wrestling match. Of course, Rudolph of hits course, the people's elbow. Oh. Bumble hits the the stone Bumble stunner. Bumble gets a Bumble gets a gets a run in from uh from the from the head elf. You know, uh, he cementing out, his heel turn. He pulls out the foreign objects to lag tight. <laughs> oh shit! Oh no! While well, the rest back is turned. Oh, tell me when it's over, brother. Oh. I can't, I can't take bigger stars than me winning matches, dude. Ah. Oh, where was I, brother? Your last chance. Not quite. You see, ever since Rudolph left them, dude, Hermie and Yukon Cornelius had tried to find their friend. And, well, they arrived in Christmastown just as the storm hit, dude. It was a good thing I sent him right after Rudolph, brother. It's all because of me, dude, that the, Ru that the Rudolph is going to survive, brother. Oh, <laughs> yes. Hey, look at hey, look. Uh... Whoa! On mush, will ya? Uh, well, what do we do? Uh, we can't let that monster get a hold of him. Uh? 
Now listen. I got an idea. Sock. Thumbtack. Uh, yeah. Multiple personalities. And then? Huh. Oh, oh, now then you yeah. win. It might work. Why doesn't he get it there back in the cave with the, yes. the uh, poor Brit Lanier? Why doesn't he get it over with? Huh. Ma, Clarice! Are you sure we can get him out? Uh? Never knew the Bumble Snow Monster yet who turned down a pork dinner for deer meat. He's a nice, big American redneck meal and he's all about it. Now put uh, some more in. The Bumble's hungry. Okay. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> Oink! Here, what? 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 Oink! 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 What? What? And then they drop the snowball on him. A bang! Bang! Terrible weather we've been having. Snow and ice. All right, dentist. Be a hardcore legend like me and take it from here. And uh, poor Hermie's got his tool, his tooth yanking tool <laughs> out. <laughs> It's Yukon Cornelius! Ta-da! In person! We're saved! Let's get out of here! The people's nose will light the way! Why blast your head tumble hide? Eh, eh. Gonna, have hard to, gonna be hard to make pop lines without those teeth, huh? Don't don't let this big blowhard scare you anymore. Just walk right past him. <laughs> Golly. Uh, what? Like, what? Looks like uh, we're uh, gonna have to worry about uh, the uh, uh, getting those big pop lines over on us anymore. I tell you, we're looking at a mighty humble bumble. Uh, Taking off him and everything. He's nothing without his choppers. Let me at him. Bang, bang! And then, uh, then he and his dogs, like, fucking attack Bumble. Um, ha! Trapped, aren't you? Well, there's nowhere you can escape from Yukon Cornelius now. Now, make like my match with Taker and let's fall all the way down! No! No! You Yukon! Con. He's... He's gone! Oh! Oh, bless the people's reindeer's eyes! He's... He's gone! Well, brother, they're all very sad at the loss of their friend, but they realize the best thing to do is no sell it, brother. Get their heat back <laughs> and get themselves back to Christmas Town, dude. <laughs> So they make it back, and when everybody hears their story, brother, they start to realize maybe they were a little hard on the misfits, dude. Or the maybe the misfits have a place too, brother. And I knew that first dude. I know I put him over first, brother. I just remember that. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Even, even Santa realizes that maybe he was wrong, dude. You know, uh, Rudolph, I promise as soon as the storm lets up, I'll find homes for all those misfit toys. Maybe I'll even make a whole other promotion for him. <laughs> all right. Uh, Hermie, uh, you can open up a dentist's office. But next week, after Christmas. <laughs> Come here, uh, open your mouth. Uh, oh, dear. I'll set up an appointment for you next week, week from Tuesday, 4.30. And I'm sorry, too, Rudolph, for the way I acted. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. Bang, bang! Open up! It isn't a fit night out there for man nor beast. Here's the man, and here's the beast. Well, now, what? Calm down, calm down. I reformed this bumble. He's a face again, and he wants a job. 
He wants two job. He's okay. He's okay with with not having the belt anymore. Look, I'm look. walking out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> look at what he can do. Place the star at the top of the tree. He doesn't even need a step ladder. Although I need one so I can jump off of it. <laughs> but, but, you, you went over the side of the cliff. I watched you with my own eyes. Didn't I ever tell you about Bumbles? Bumbles bounce, 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 <laughs> <from high. laughs> bounce up, bounce up from from the mat, bounce back from from terrible gimmicks like the ringmaster. They just were real good at bouncing. I ain't putting over the ground for nobody. Well, you can. We're so glad that you are so lucky to be alive. Yeah, and even tame this creature easily, right? Uh? If I always tame every animal, I tame this bumble. Dun, dun, dun. Scene, but then we then cut to bah, bah, bah. we are sans oh, yes. blah 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 Background. blah. Well, uh, well, let me tell you something, brother. As good as everything feels, dude, this is no time for celebrating because the next day is Christmas Eve, brother, the biggest day of the year. Eat, Papa, eat. How can I eat? That silly elf song is driving me crazy. You're going to disappoint the children. They expect a fat Santa with a fat ass. I already have a fat enough ass. Latest weather report, sir. Oh, well, this is it. The storm won't subside by tonight. We'll have to cancel Christmas. <laughs> we'll have, we have to cancel the, 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 the Christmas Federation and merge it with Easter. Papa, are you sure? Everything's grounded. Oh, the poor kids. They've been so good this year, too. They deserve, they deserve all the bootleg music they can get. But I couldn't chance it. I'll have to tell everybody that it's all off this year. Quiet! Quiet, grumble, everybody! Grumble, grumble, grumble. Quiet, please! Quiet! Well, I got some bad news, folks. Christmas going to be canceled. Your checks Ooh. are unfortunately not going to be paid, which is a thing I that was that was been not, that was gonna happen anyway. That no, that's a, that's definitely that's definitely not been happening un, until until now. This is so this is a new development. There's oh. nothing I can do with this. There's nothing just I can do. The, just wait for the next holiday. I'll get you that check. Uh, yeah, just, we'll get we'll get we'll get we'll get we'll get you for Easter. All right, we're we're mer we're merging with Easter, and they'll they'll take good care of you over there. Uh, all right, now now Rudolph. Please, can you can you turn down that annoying gimmick for two seconds? I that 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 people's nose you call it. I that that nose, that beautiful, wonderful nose. Huh? What did you say to the people's reindeer? Rudolph, Christmas is not. It doesn't matter what you. Oh, so sorry. I, it's really bad habit. You you're going to lead my team. Oh. The people's reindeer. It's gonna lead your team. Yes, sir. You and that wonderful nose of yours, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. The people's nose, sir. Oh, oh. From what I see now, that'll cut through the murkiest storm they can dish up. What I'm trying to say is, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide? my sleigh tonight wow would the people's reindeer lead the sleigh team it would be an honor for the people's reindeer to drop the people's nose all the way down on christmas for the one two three Woo! who oh, i knew that nose would be useful someday oh yeah i never did i thought it was gonna be bad forever 
Have a holly jolly Christmas. Well, it's the best time of the year, dude. I don't know if there'll be snow or maybe there will be, brother. But have a cup of cheer. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And when you walk down the street, say hello to brothers you know and everyone <laughs> you meet. Ho, ho, the mistletoe hung where you can see somebody waits for you or maybe they don't kiss her kiss her once for me jack oh you took oh, mine shit. that took yours you took have it. a holly jolly christmas and in case you didn't hear oh by golly have a holly jolly christmas this year set the holly. people's champ to the front of the line holly jolly holly jolly Oh, have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you didn't hear, dude, oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Ho, 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 later. Let me check. Turn it. Oh, mama. Oh, yeah. Now sing it for daddy. Sing it when you laugh. Oh, this is so objectified. Ho, 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 that's my Santa. Oh, thanks, Mama. My coat. Are you ready, Rudolph? The people's reindeer is ready. Can you smell? Well, let's be on our way. Okay, Rudolph. Full power. The doors are open. And it's ready for you to your takeoff to parts unknown. Excellent. First stop, the island of misfit toys. Gonna get a whole bunch of new guys in here. And they won't they won't ask me about pay. Up up and away. You got the money. He'd be a hero after this. He's already oh yes, a hero. That's my book. Oh yeah. Now you see, that's how it's done. A bang bang! Oh, sweet, sweet, tasty thumbtack. Ooh, peppermint. What I've been searching for all of my life. I've struck rich bang bang! I've got me a peppermint mine, bang, bang! And scene. Final scene. Final scene. Final scene. Final scene. Well, well, it's Christmas Eve, but... Well, it uh, looks like we've been uh, forgotten again, Daddy. But... Oh, God, my, my Irish. But Rudolph promised we'd go this time. Guess the snow was too much for them. <sighs> might, might as well just go to bed and start dreaming about next year. I haven't any dreams left to dream. I don't think we'll ever get off this island. Now, now wait a minute, Daddy. What's that? Is it? Is it? It sure is. It's Santa. And look. Rudolph is leading the way. You can see his nose from here. And all the misfit toys happily Yay. gather to watch the sleigh land, and they get they 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 jump into the the, the toy sack um, without being wrapped, which is slightly weird. But you know, I guess they'll just go where they go. Um, well, let's be on our way. Ready, Rudolph. Ready, Santa. Okay, Rudolph, full power. Up, up, and away. <laughs> well, brother, as for the rest of the story, the people's champ, the people's reindeer went down in his story. Oh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. Maybe he didn't, brother. And if you <laughs> ever saw yeah. it, you would even say it glows, dude. Like the people's All of the, uh, 
All of the other reindeer you still have to call him names, Jack. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games, brother. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, dude, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeers loved him, and they shouted out wiggly, brother, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You'll go down in history, but not like the Hulkster. <laughs> but not like the Hulkster. Bum ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba ba. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and we are out. Oh my God, that was so what stupid. If, that was the. T- what have we done? That was. <laughs> Honestly, I I feel enriched. That I have never done something like that before for the holiday season. And I have to say, I, I, I I'm glad we got to share this special moment of doing our our, you know, uh, somewhat decent attempts at, at, at wrestling voices to to read off an entire fucking thing. Holy shit. Really? I was smiling. I had I, I had to sing so many songs in Hulk Hogan voice. <laughs> Sam's yeah, oh my I I'm I'm about to go brew up some fucking throw code after this. Why why do all of the wrestling dudes have the raspiest fucking voices in the world? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. So oh. that has been our Christmas episode this year. Merry Christmas Indeed. to all, etc. 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 It's uh you know, it's 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 that time of year once again, folks. We we're 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 out here having fun. This is it's all about being with your people at this at this time of year, whoever, whoever they may be, whether they be friends, family or the 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 poor man you have you have suckered into making deeply unhinged uh, wrestling based content with you on a on a, on a regular basis. Yeah, um, a- <laughs> either either way, a happy, happy holidays to all who celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever the hell lies in between. From the Noobs and Knockouts podcast to all of you, we just hope you have a wonderful and happy holiday season as we as we go into go into a new year, new year, new beginnings. Uh, I have to say, looking forward to the new year. The uh, the Noobs and Knockouts may be coming back with a new look for the new year, so be and sure to stay tuned for a bit so. of that. Be sure, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for a bit of that. Yeah, so next time, holy shit, uh, we are back in 2012. It is time. Oh, that to is a new come year. Back maybe, maybe not so new. DNA. Oh, dear Lord. It's time for the return of the Bound for Glory series. Or I guess we're also here for Claire Lynch or something. Also or here. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure which is more convoluted. Yep, so Claire Lynch. Notable drug addict, I guess. Uh, has why? Oh, why are we doing that? It's has fine. revealed herself. Uh, blah blah. Dixie and AJ Car- Styles did not have an affair. Daniels and Kazarian are defeated. Definitely. No That's sense. it. That's the end. There is no more to the story, of course, than what I than that. So tune in next time for a peaceful resolution. Definitely. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's just gonna end end like that. No, no caveats whatsoever. Of course. Oh my god. Um, yep. Yeah. That's for next time. Uh until then, I guess David hit the plugs. Yes, sir. Like we friends. already signed off with the Christmas thing. Well, yeah, but you know, dear friends, thank you all so much for joining us on yet another episode of the Noobs and Knockouts podcast. A very, a very weird, very holly jolly episode of the Noobs and Knockouts podcast. We're so delighted that you decided to join us for this one. Uh, uh, you know, listen, returning listeners, viewers, what have you, you know the drill. Thank you all so much for once again welcoming us back into your eardrums, your eyeballs, whatever the hell it is you, you used to consume our content. New people, hey, hi, how's it going? Welcome to the show. We here at the Noobs and Knockouts podcast like to think we are friendly to both noobs and knockouts alike. So whether you're brand new to the wild, wacky world of wrestling or you're a veteran of all the weird bullshit, either way, we hope you've had a great time here. We hope you um, uh, enjoyed yourself and want to keep coming back. 
uh, week after week, and we're going to tell you all the ways you can do so. First and foremost, of course, you can find us on YouTube. We are the Noobs and Knockouts podcast on YouTube. Hit subscribe, ring that bell, make sure it turns a nice little solid color so you get notifications Oh, every single time we drop a brand new episode. Um, uh, give us all that mm, sweet, sweet YouTube engagement. It helps out our analytics a lot. Um, be sure to check out all of our playlists. Austin has been kind enough to organize all of the storylines that we follow into their own separate playlists. So if there's something you want to follow all the way down without having to skip around a whole lot, you have that option. It's great. Uh, you can see our beautiful, wonderful selves, how, uh, you know, our, our Christmas drip or, you know, maybe lack thereof. Uh, count how many times David has to take an aggressive swig of his water bottle as he does these fucking voices. All that, all that good stuff. Uh, you can enjoy over on the video version on YouTube. Of course, if you're a fan of the audio-only experience, we have you covered there as well. You can find the Noobs and Knockouts podcast on three of the best places to find your podcast, which are Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Come check us out there. Give us a listen. Uh, download our show if you're so inclined so you can listen to us offline. Give us that mm, sweet, sweet engagement of, of reviews and ratings if you're if you're also so inclined. You know, maybe a nice little five stars. Maybe a nice little, hey, these guys are pretty cool. More people should be listening to them even when they are doing weird, unhinged shit. You know, just th- throw them, a, throw them a, a listen or two. Just, just spitballing ideas here of what you could possibly put there if you, if you want. If you want. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, but, yes. Be sure to check us out, no matter if it's video or audio, YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts, all those options at your fingertips. Um, Of course, on top of that, uh, we have uh, have a life somehow outside of this little void we find ourselves in week after week. You can find us in other places. Uh, On social media, you can find us on Twitter at Noobs and Knox Pod. That's at Noobs, the letter N, Knox Pod. Come check us out there. Tell us what you think, or, 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 or we do the whole we do the whole Twitter thing. Um, uh, we do memes. We engage in IWC discourse because we hate ourselves. Um, we put up a post every single time we drop a brand new episode, so you guys always know what the hell is going on. Of course, the highlight of our Twitter is weekly wrestling live tweeting every Wednesday night at eight PM Eastern when we're not recording on Wednesday night um, uh, on TBS. Uh, I am watching and tweeting about AEW Dynamite. Uh, talking all that good shit. Um, uh, additionally, when I have the time to, sometimes on Friday nights at 10 Eastern on TNT, uh, I will watch and tweet about AEW Rampage. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, on Saturday nights at 8 p.m. on TNT, I'll watch and tweet about AEW Collision. That's time permitting. Um, so be sure to always check out the pods page on Twitter. See if we're, uh, we're talking up a storm about the most recent episode on top of that, Austin, the knockout, he likes to follow all of the major company promotions to some extent or other, tell you guys all about them. Maybe sometimes even tweets about them when he watches their pay-per-views. Um, so my friend for the people at home, what is on the docket uh, coming up? Right. So coming up is in is AEW World's End. Um, we've already covered how to watch AEW. Um, got on December 30th, live on pay-per-view. Uh, not a lot of matches are official at time of recording here. Uh, just mm-hmm. the three, because uh, Kenny got had a, had a good old-fashioned diverticulitis. So <laughs> that match is canceled. Uh, right now... We just got MJF defending his AEW World Championship against Samoa Joe. Mm, The timeless Tony Storm. Yes. Defending her AEW Women's Championship against Riho. Oh, shit. Yeah, baby. Riho's back. Yep. And the, the championship final of the AEW Continental Classic to crown a triple crown champion the triple crown baby oh this is so exciting yeah we got a couple of got we got a couple we i don't know what of this i don't know what of this has already been uh i don't know what has happened to dynamite we're we're recording as dynamite is airing so i don't know yes. how much of this I don't, I don't, I, I don't think we're gonna have an official them. an official match until next wednesday right before yes the- yes that's when the semifinals are happening but i don't know who the championship who is going to the semifinals yet are. that's very fair that's very fair neither do i yep and then uh for tna is up next there if you want to watch tna 
they are rebranding to back to that name after back being in wrestling for so long. Uh, January 13th, live on pay-per-view. If you want to watch TNA on a weekly basis, you can do so. Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Axis TV or for a $1 a month YouTube subscription. You can watch it every Thursday dollars. night. That you can watch it every week for eight at eight thirty p.m. Eastern on Thursdays, commercial free. <laughs> so, but hard to kill. I mean, we're cooking already. We got Trinity versus Jordan Grace for the Knockouts World Title. Basically, the top Ooh. two women in the company. We got Alex Shelley defending his title against Moose, defending the World That's Title. Funny. A three-way match for the X Division Championship in a battle of like three of the greatest from three of the biggest wrestling comp- wrestling countries in the world. Chris yes. Sabin defending yes. his X Division Championship against Kushida and <gasps> El Hijo Del v- Vikingo. That's so insane. That's so insane, yep. brother. And then we they have also announced the second ever Knockouts Ultimate X match. Oh! Uh, where they got where they got to climb the poles and ru- wa- and, cl- and you know uh, walk the Fire rope, walk, right? yeah. Fire walk the rope to get the big X, and if you win it, you you get a title match for the Knockouts title. Very Ooh, big cooking. deal. It's Participants cooking. to be announced. Okay. And then uh, for the WWE, uh, if you want to watch, this is. Dave, this information is very soon going to be outdated. But if you want to watch Rude. WWE on a regular basis, you can do that. Raw is Mondays at 8 on uh, USA Network. And SmackDown okay. is Fridays at 8 on Fox. Uh, upcoming on January 27th, live on Peacock, where all of WWE's former pay-per-views, now premium live events, play. are now the plays now take the place. Play. It's the Royal Rumble. Oh, it do be rumbling, though. It do be rumbling, though. Yep, so far we got two participants in each match. For the women's match, uh, we have Bailey and Nia Jax. Great. Um... Mm. And obviously, if you each for each match, if you win, you get a world title shot at WrestleMania XL. Oh, That's uh, man, 40. that would be pretty based if Bailey got that though. Yeah, sure. You know, doubt it'll happen. Um, doubt, doubt. And then on the men's Royal Rumble side, we also have two participants. We have Cody Rhodes looking to finish his story. The, the adrenaline is in his soul once more. Uh, but you know, he, there is, there is like one problem here the and it is that you should look into his, in eyes. his eyes. What do you see? See him punk. The, 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 the rumble CM, not being won by Cody. CM punk finishes his story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Honestly, super common speculation right now is that CM punk is going to main event night one against Seth. Like that there, is, I mean, there is that's the common no theory. There is almost CM no Punk like, is finally going to get his WrestleMania main event. Truly sp- finishing the story. Spinning, spinning those, spinning the spinning the wheels of the Seth feud until checks notes March. That's going to be wild. Um, I'm sure they'll make it work. Probably they'll make they'll make it work. Yeah, yeah. So CM Punk. Uh, Fucking, just as he predicted, made eventing night one of a buy one get one free extravaganza. Let's fucking hey, go! Yeah, man, so much of that feud is. Uh, there's a lot of ironic Age echoes. So there's so many ironic echoes to CM Punk's AEW run now. It's outstanding. Oh no! I, he cut no, basically the same pro opening promo in both companies. I know. I know. <laughs> Truly what, phenomenal what, business here. Nine years ago, I left sports entertainment, uh, and now I'm back. I'm, I'm home. I'm home. Oh god. Anyway. Yep. So that is what is upcoming in the regular wrestling world. Outstanding. So yeah, be sure to be sure to check all that out. You know, 
again, sometimes Austin will. But will... for some reason, this episode of the podcast made you want to watch wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I think I I see I see this as as, as the the best marketing wrestling could ever get. Dudes with funny voices count me. <laughs> That's how you get me for anything, really. Um, but um yeah so if you want to check that out um you know first of all we like to tweet about that stuff when we when we get the chance and you know farm some engagement as one does um but also uh especially for the noobs in our audience we kind of like to tell you guys about all this stuff that's going on um because you know if you're getting into wrestling for the first time we kind of want to see to it that you have your options you know kind of like what you're looking at how you can access it um and you know the pay-per-views especially can be kind of a cool jumping on point like Big storylines are finishing up. New storylines are starting. You're bound to get some amazing matches and see, like, kind of what wrestling is all about. So you got those options. You got the weekly TV, um, all that good stuff. We, we just kind of like to to see to it that, that, you know, we, on top of us promoting our shit, we're, you know, we're looking out for the noobs out there if you want to become a bit of a wrestling fan yourself. But, yeah, so if you want to listen to us ramble in text, in short form text form about the uh, about the wild wacky world of wrestling you can do so on twitter at noobs and Knox pod uh if you want to get in more direct and long form contact with us you can do that over on our email you can email us at noobs and knockouts pod at gmail.com that's noobs the word and this time knockouts pod at gmail.com uh come say hi to us there tell us what we think about the show uh request things you want to see us cover on the show um you know just just tell us that our, our hot takes are based in red pill that they're fucking stupid uh, either way, start Discord with us. Say hi. We love people saying hi. We would love to say hi back. News and knockouts pod at gmail.com. And finally, you can also find us on Patreon. We are also the News and Knockouts Podcast on Patreon. The link for that is in our Twitter. One dollar a month gets you early access to episodes and a shout out at the end of each episode. Shout out as always to friend of the show, uh, the sugar daddy, Kyle Smith. For, uh, for for hitting us up with his generous contributions. We love you, buddy. If you want to enjoy your perks along with our boy Kyle, uh, you can do so over on the Patreon. Again, just a single dollar do helps out the show more than you can imagine. It's a, it's a great boon to us, um, and, it, and it just means a lot. So, you know, if you want to support the show, News and Knockouts Podcast over on Patreon. The link, once again, is in our Twitter. See y'all next time. Happy Holidays!